I can't tell her. I'm the fun, good time guy. All oh, right. So I'm the boring one. No, I don't mean that. I mean, we're good cop, bad cop, you know. Bad archdeacon. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Look, we are just worried. That is all. This appointment with the diabetes nurse is, is really important. Yeah, which is why I'll go to the next one. I'm not missing out on the end of term celebration. Listen, I'm usually the first to tell you to sack something off and have fun, but you can't expect Billy to do your injections forever. Like, we've been reading up on it. If you don't stay on top of this, you could wind up blind. Worse. Great. Now you're on my case, too. I'm going to grab something from the cafe. No, Summit, you can't just walk out. You... <sighs> go on, go after her. No, I can't. I said I'd speak to the bishop before Summer's appointment. <sighs> all right, all right, I'll text him and cancel. It's all right, look, I'll go. I... There's no guarantees I can change your mind, though. No school today. My exams are over, so pretty much done. So why are you sitting here like a saddle instead of hanging around with your mates? Because Billy and Todd don't want me to have any. You what? All my mates are celebrating the end of turn down the Red Wreck. Only Billy and Todd are saying that I can't go. How come? Because they're boring and old and trying to control me. I'm looking for you. She was telling me about this get-together with her mates. Apparently, you don't want her to go. I suppose she didn't mention why. Well, only that you're really boring and old. Right. Nothing to do with the fact that she's got an appointment with a diabetes nurse and she's refusing to go. You're not, are you? I'm sorry, but you've got to face this. Right? You can't just keep putting it on others. Can you all just leave me alone? Oh, some part of This must be really hard. <laughs> Your head must be a mess. I know mine would be. But don't do what I do, OK? Don't stick your la-la fingers in your ears pretend that it's not happening. Because, believe me, that never works. You don't understand. I'm not trying to leave it all to Billy. Then what? If I go, then that's it. It's like I'm admitting my whole life before everything I was looking forward to. It's all gone. But isn't that what this appointment's for? You know, so they can show you you can still do stuff. Be normal. Well, as normal as you'll ever be. Look, I, um, I could come with you if you want. If, if that's all right with you. Bring your mum for all I care. Don't. So, have we got a deal? I'm sorry, I, I can't do this. I'll book another appointment tomorrow, I promise. No, Summit, look, they can't just magic appointments out of the air. We're here now. No, I'm not going. You can't make me. It's all right. Don't worry about it. We're late as it is. Just give her five minutes, OK? OK, look, you are doing brilliant there. You want to sit here all day? Go for it. No skin off my nose. Although, I probably will get the sack. How you made it? I was getting worried. Well, don't get your hopes up. Really? It's fine. Do it. If only to shut you two up. Will you come in with me? Oh, do I have to? Of course I will. Go on. Oh, thank you, face. You managed it. I didn't. Paul's obviously got the magic touch. <laughs> <laughs> 